In this video, we are going to talk about how to add a quiz, MCQ quiz system in your WordPress website. So for this, uh, I'm going to use the quiz and survey master plugin, which is there. I'll just click on uh, this install now. Once it's installed, I'll just activate this plugin. And uh, as you can see here at the bottom, you can uh, see the plugin has been, uh, the, the menu has been added, QSM. You can just go to the dashboard and uh, here you will be able to see a lot of features which are there and uh, it also gives you the change log and everything. Now without any delay, I'll just click on create a new quiz. Now there are three types of uh, quizzes that you can create. Number one is simple quiz without any timer, which is not going to be a time based quiz. Next is time based quiz where you can set a time limit in minutes. So let's say if I'm setting it to 60 minutes, the quiz will automatically end in 60 minutes. Next, I can also uh, set a survey. So if I want to collect some survey or something, I can create a survey form with a progress bar. If I want, I can set a progress bar or I can't set progress. We can have a daily limit. We can integrate MailChimp to it. We can also sync this with the Google Sheet. However, uh, these are paid uh, add-ons so you'll need to pay something more uh, to buy this you'll have to switch to a pro version of it in this case what i'll do is i'll just click on simple quiz uh, do i require users to log in no i don't want them to log in uh, does it want to be a correct and correct or point system uh, i'll just select both to so progress yes i would like them to see their progress and I'll just click on create quiz. Okay, it's showing me an error. I need to add uh, the name of the quiz. So I can just uh, name it as testing in this case. And I'll just click on the quiz. Once uh, uh, the quiz has been added, uh, I can add questions in here. So this is the format of which they've seen. Uh, so I can add all these types of uh, uh, questions which are there, fill in the blanks. Uh, or I can have vertical multiple choice file upload be it drop down etc. I'll just select vertical multiple choice questions which are there. Uh, let me just uh, uh, put in a simple question which of the following is the capital of India? So let's say let, let me give some options. Do I want to give the points? Uh, uh, I'll just keep the points blank here. Delhi, is this the correct answer? Yes, I'll just select that as a correct, correct answer. Bangalore, okay, so I'm just giving three choices here. Is this uh, required? I'll not make it mandatory, okay, uh, but if you want to make it mandatory, you can uh, just make that mandatory also. Comments fields, uh, we can select whether we want to give a comment or not. We'll just set it to none, okay. Category, we can select a certain category and add this uh, quiz to a certain category. I'll just save this question. I'll duplicate this uh, question. And uh, uh, I can just uh, write one more question, okay? Which is the national animal of India? Okay. And uh, here the options are there. So tiger is a national animal of uh, India. So I'll just tiger, lion, elephant, Okay, uh, I'm just uh, uh, giving dummy question answers here, but in your case, you can just give actual questions. Once you have done this, uh, I've, I'll just put two questions here. Uh, here uh, you can, uh, you know, there are some more options like you can add contact fields. You can have some text messages added, message displayed before the quiz. Welcome to the quiz. You can edit this. You can have uh, some video or maybe, you know, some more detailed description, whatever you want to add. Uh, then the options, uh, these are some of the options. Do you want it to be grading system? If yes, it should be points or not. So I've selected both in the start of the quiz. So that is that. Auto score round off. Uh, yes, you can do that. Uh, login required. No, we selected no. Questions per page zero. So um, if you want the pagination to be added, that is something which you can add here. Time limit in minutes. If you want uh, to have some time limit, you can have that. For submit uh, when the timer expires, yes, uh, this is if you are using the timer, but we are not using any timer, so we can just uh, keep it as no. 
a uh, limit attempt limit entries so limit attempts is uh, you know how many attempts can people take will uh, will let it be unlimited attempt but let's say if your quiz requires that you just want one person to take one attempt you can have that there limit entries how many entries uh, you want uh, people to put in uh, so how many times they can uh, you know do that how many users can take the quiz so unlimited users if you have a benchmark that okay you just want a hundred people to take it then maybe you can you can uh, set that limit there quiz date start date end date can be there random questions are uh, disabled uh, you know you can just random the questions and answers as well so the answers will also be you know uh, shuffled in between uh, contact form position if you want to add a contact form um, uh, show the contact form to logged in users. No, you don't want it to be seen to the log, uh, logged in users. Contact form. We have not created any form by the way for this thing, but if you want to collect data of the people while they are taking the quiz, you can do that. Enable comments will set it no. Show question numbers. Uh, yes, uh, this is something which will give them an idea of how many questions are there. Save responses. Yes, results will be permanently stored. In case you don't want to do that, you can do it no. If it's just open quiz which you don't want it to be saved, you don't want your database to be, you know, filled with a lot of information, you can set it as no. And, uh, you know, disable uh, change answer, no. So we don't mind people changing their answer later on. Uh, add class to correct. So this is an advanced option where you can add a CSS class to it. So it will give a specific styling, but we'll just go with the default styling in this case. Uh, disable auto fill of uh, the contact input. Uh, now there's something which uh, many a times is recommended, so you can set it as yes. Okay, so this is also yes. We want to disable the auto fill up. Uh, this display the category name on the front page. Uh, uh, if you want, you can set that yes. Show results in line. We can show the results in line, so results will be displayed for each question as they select. But uh, if you want to give a proper quiz format, I would recommend it to be no. Uh, end quiz if there is a wrong answer no we don't want the quiz to be ended uh, so it's not like uh, a KBC or something okay you want the users to uh, keep answering till till the end so that's why we just set it as no show the correct answer in line no we don't want to do that retake quiz yes uh, they can uh, retake the quiz so that is something which we did. show the current page number okay that is something which is again your choice Deselect answer. So a person can deselect answer. So let's say accidentally if somebody has clicked on an answer which they don't want to attempt, we will allow them to deselect that. Okay. Uh, disable description on the result page. Uh, no, we want to have some description on the result page as well. So in the uh, description page, uh, in the quiz result page, you can add description. You can also upsell your full length quiz if this is a free quiz that you are updating for people. Display scroll on next and uh, this will so disable scroll on next and the previous button click. So, no, we don't disable that. Animation, do you want to set any animation? Then you can do that. In this case, I'll just set it as no animation. Logo URL, you can update the logo URL so the logo will be coming up there. So, I've just made few changes here. I'll just save this form. Uh, next is email. So, you know, if you want to send uh, some email, if you want to send an email to the user, we can do that via this. If we don't, we can leave this uh, blank, absolutely blank. This is the final results page. So you can uh, change whatever information you want here. And uh, the last tab is that of the styling. How do you want it to be there? I'd like it to look green. So I'll just uh, select the green color. Emerald red color is something which I'll select. Okay, now here on the on the top, what uh, we can do is we can just click on publish quiz. So once the quiz is uh, published, uh, I can just uh, click on this link, and uh, the quiz will be visible here. So here, if you can see, I can I can uh, you know answer all the questions which are there here. So I'll just answer one correct, one incorrect. If I want, I can just deselect also. So that that option is enabled there as we did it in the setting. And once I click on it, it tells me what was the correct answer here in this case, since I selected elephant, it tells me that tiger is the correct answer. If I want, I can retake the quiz as well. And if you see the, uh, the question order has changed, which is uh, the national animal of India has come on the top. 
and uh, which is uh, uh, which of the following is the capital of India is something which, which has come at the down at, at bottom. So they are shuffling the questions. Not only that, they are shuffling the orders also within them. So this is also one of the good things of uh, this entire thing. So I hope you uh, like the video. Please uh, uh, subscribe to the channel if you are looking for more such informative videos with regards to WordPress plugins.